This restaurant has been a landmark in Mount Prospect for almost 50 years, but now the new Hacienda El Sombrero has a new take on healthy Mexican cuisine. Today, we are so excited to be at Hacienda El Sombrero right here in Mount Prospect, yeah. and I am speaking with one of the owners, Raul. Raul, it is so nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Thank you for coming. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. You've got this restaurant with two of your brothers, so Correct. there's three of you that own it together. Correct. So we've got Raul, and we have Victor, Victor and who is the Hector. third? And Hector. Hector. What is your specific role here at Hacienda El Sombrero? Um, or do you wear many sombreros? Many, many <laughs> sombreros from dishwasher, bartender, server, I mean, basketball, you name it. So this is brand new for you. You've been here how long at Hacienda El Sombrero? About a year and three months since we took over. And so you took over from? El Sombrero. El Sombrero, which was here for 46 40, years. Yeah, about, yeah. And so you've only made it better. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. So this is Tex-Mex. Correct. Tell us a little bit about how you fuse Mexican and American on your menu. Okay. Uh, this, this restaurant has been known for 46 years. And the enchiladas uh, are with yellow cheese, with cheddar cheese, which is not typically Mexican. Okay. And now, about a year and uh, three months, we introduced a new Mexican style which is enchiladas verde, which it's a tomatillo and lettuce, fresh cheese, and a sliced avocado. And uh, I believe in uh, organic and fresh and quality products. So that's why we introduce right now. I did have a chance to speak to some of your customers on the way in today, and they are very loyal, and they went on and on about how much they love this restaurant. Let's talk a little bit about what makes you so special here. I know that you pride yourself in making any dish any way the customer wants it. Correct. You come in, you, it's not on the menu, we got the ingredients, we prepare it for you. Okay, so before. not only will you make anything anybody wants that you can make, sure. but it's all about the healthy, the fresh ingredients. Correct. So you've got all organic produce. Pretty much. Pretty uh -huh. much. The organic chicken. What kind of steak do you use? Uh, we use uh, a black angus beef right now. I know people will say, but how come you got use some black angus beef when the prices are not so high? Right. But I believe in quality. Right. Uh, and you don't need to break your wallet to eat good food. Right. Mm -hmm. um, when I think of a Mexican restaurant, I'm looking around and looking at this cool vibe. Can we talk <laughs> a little bit about the atmosphere in the restaurant here? Mm -hmm. It's okay. beautiful. Pretty much we remodel uh, from floor to top. And all the patterns from uh, Guadalajara, like Paque, and it was brought in from there. I want to make you feel like you come into my house, like uh, it's a family owned restaurant. It's your hacienda. Much. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> and here I am, and I do feel that way. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some of the special dishes that you serve here because I know you have some that are unique to this restaurant. Correct. I mean, we're going to start with the carne asada, which is this cursed day. And pretty much people always like, Raul, what do you put on there? And it's like, right. we don't marinate, we don't do nothing. It's just salt and pepper. And it's soft, it's like, they can, they compare the strip steak, the skirt steak, with the filet mignon, which is not. Right. But it, because the tenderness and the quality, it's very soft. So it's that's the tasty. carne asada. Correct. So yeah. you've got the carne asada that's Correct. really spectacular here. What uh, else do you think is your trademark dish Okay, here? we got something here at Mount Prospect that no one else has as a okay. Mexican restaurant. The table side guacamole, which it comes out with the almocajete, and they make it to the table to the order. Oh. I mean, some of the people that don't like garlic, some of them there that don't like onions or cilantro. Right. So right. it's to please. It's, right. I mean, you're gonna come in and eat the way you wanted it. So, so I could say to you, I would love some guacamole, but no cilantro. Correct. And that's the way you'll make correct. it for me. Or you know, today I'm I want a margarita with a spicy guacamole. So we. We actually will put the fresh jalapenos or serranos to make it spicy. Right. It's again, it, this place is for here to feel like home, like and yeah. and without the work though. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah, home without, without all the work. washing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And in terms of uh, what was the other dish that you had mentioned that okay, was really unique have, to you? We do have the, the pozole verde, which is a green soup. And it's, uh, it's very healthy because it's made with chicken broth and it's got all the veggies. The, the taste is very unique. 
So and it's a it's a chicken broth full uh -huh. of fresh vegetables. Correct, and, and then they some kind of and some uh -huh. kind of a special seasoning Correct. that uh -huh. you know what to do. Correct, <laughs> and it's, it's very. If you see, I mean, it looks a little uh, weird because it's green. The base is a little grim, the soup. Right. But it's not as spicy at all, and it's very tasty. And again, healthy. I mean, the chicken. A lot right. of people like chicken, so. Well, we're going to have uh -huh. the opportunity to taste sure. that. Sure, sounds good. And I think good. there was one more thing that you were going to prepare for us. Sure, uh, the red snapper. The red snapper, it's a, it's a very, very Mexican tradition. You get the whole fish. It's, from, it's a wild cat, it's from the Gulf of Mexico. Right. And it's the, the whole uh, fish, either broiled, grilled, or fried. And it any comes, way I want it. Correct, <laughs> any way you want it. It's about a pound and a half fish. Oh boy. And it comes with the uh, rice, the salad, and uh, garlic bread. Oh boy, I look forward to seeing all that. Mm -hmm. I know you also have special drinks you make here. Margaritas, frozen margaritas. Correct. Uh, beer, we make mojitos, wine. we get mojitos, which is a very traditional for a Mexican. And we use the tequila, the, the Mexican number one tequila in Mexico, there's Casadores. Casadores, fresh orange juice, and a soda pop in there. Oh, that very tasty. And, I, I can't tell you this restaurant smells delicious. <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> to, to taste the food here. One more thing before we go. I know you have daily specials. You've got live music. You've got karaoke. Correct. Um, I'd love to hear about that. Correct. OK, Tuesdays uh, from 7 o'clock, starting 7 o'clock, we got trivia for those smart trivia. people oh, and all people that know everything. Right. Thursdays, we got karaoke. And a couple shots, a couple margaritas, and, and I, I myself, myself I started singing as well. Terrific. And Fridays, we got live music. Every Friday, it's a different band. Oh, There's wow. no charge. Uh, it's a family uh, right. environment. So bring so, the kids, bring yeah. the whole oh, yeah. family, and enjoy some music oh, yeah. and uh -huh. some authentic Tex-Mex food here Correct. at Hacienda El Sombrero. Correct. Perfect. Raul, you thank you so much. It was such a pleasure talking to you and meeting the brothers here. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Hacienda El Sombrero is at 1100 South Elmhurst Road, one block south of Golf Road. For restaurant information, call 847-364-0030.